people do that because I can say for a fact that having one job in Guyana, and I'm so sorry about the noise. Hi there gems, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another video. I haven't sat down in front of the camera in ages, but I just wanted to come on here to talk about something that I think is important. As you all might have heard, if you're Guyanese especially, the government of Guyana is going to be giving away, or giving out rather, one-time cash grant payout. At first it was $200,000 and I was very much intrigued by that because I'm the head of my household and then terribly disappointed, well somewhat disappointed terribly when they said it would be $100,000 per household but stop don't get me wrong it was going to be $200,000 and I was excited for that because you know I could do a lot with that amount of money but I think $100,000 per Guyanese 18 years and older is a much better investment. I do however wish that it could be something that is annual because it's a lot of money for a lot of people and I believe it if it isn't it might be the same amount as the minimum wage. I'm not sure please don't judge me but that is like somebody's whole salary. Nonetheless I still think that you can do a lot with a hundred thousand dollars I have been following most of the commentary about it on TikTok. I have an old school classmate, Uni. He was talking about saving the money or holding on to it. While I do agree that if you have cash that you do not absolutely need to spend, that you should hold on to it. But at the same time, just take or bear in mind that money kept in the bank is not doing anything for you it's not working for you in any way and if you would have read the richest man in babylon a lot of that book talked about making your money work for you and i got to thinking about what about those people who absolutely need to spend that money like not spend it on clothes or shoes or bag or hair or clubbing or rum or whatever what about those people who are desperately praying for even $50,000 to change their life by the end of this year. I mean, some people have debt that they didn't intentionally put themselves into and that $100,000 will greatly improve their circumstances. So I wanted to come on here to give you my point or my perspective on what I think you should do with that money. It's coming from me, right? It's my perspective. Or let's say I'm giving you an option of what you can do with the money. I'm not telling you that this is what you should do with it. I'm mostly speaking to the people who have debt, who need, it might sound crazy to some, $100,000 to turn their life around. So I got to thinking and I wrote down some points to talk about. And being a Christian, my first thought that I would do with the money is to tithe it because in our faith or our walk with Christ, I would say I'm a follower of Christ. I don't believe in religion. I'm a follower of Christ. I would say to tithe and in the good book it says to tithe 10% of whatever you earn. So that would be a good place to start. Even if you can't tithe for whatever reason 10%, put some of it towards doing the Lord's work. So that is my first thing. Make right with God, give him some of what you would have received. The next thing is to invest some of that money into positioning yourself to be on top of your debt in 25. So let's say that you have currently, let's say you're paying courts or you're with the credit union here in Guyana or you have some loan and it's almost finished paying off. I would tell you to put a chunk of that money into making that debt go away faster so position yourself for the new year that okay let's say you have a hundred thousand dollars remaining on your debt or whatever amount position yourself in such a way that you take off at least one month payment so that you will know in 25 you will be one month less on that payment if you understand what i mean 
position yourself better. The next thing I would say to do is invest in your appearance, right? So let's say you're struggling probably with your smile or you have problems with your face, you don't like how your face looks or you know you want to start dressing better, smelling better. Improve on your appearance, invest in your appearance because whether we want to believe it or not, the way we look to the world is how they will treat us. You might see that persons who dress a certain way whenever they go into certain business places, they are treated differently from the person who just throws on anything. So for me, I would say to invest in your appearance. If it is that you are suffering from acne, invest in some acne medicine. If it is that you something is wrong with your smile, go get your teeth clean. $100,000 is not a lot of money, but at least you can... Just make that first step into loving yourself. And let me tell you, when you invest in your appearance, it boosts your confidence a lot. So that is the other thing I would say to do is to invest in your appearance. I would also say that if there is something that you are good at doing, that you can provide as a service to somebody else or to some people, do that. Because I can say for a fact that... Having one job in Guyana, and I'm so sorry about the noise. Yes, I would say having one job in Guyana and considering that enough to live comfortably is, is not it. So I think that you, everybody who wants to live a comfortable life, if they want to do that, they either have to be doing exceptionally well at what they're doing and making enough, or they have to have a side hustle. So I would say, let's say you're good at baking, you're working in corporate, yes, or you're working at your nine to five, but at the same time, you're good at baking or you find that you're good at doing nails or you're good at doing facials, pedicures, or you're good at preparing breakfast. I would say invest some of that money into doing a side hustle. Or if it is that you like online shopping and you think that is something you can do as well, I would say purchase a few pieces because the companies like Shein and so on, they buy from the manufacturers, they buy or they make it themselves for small amounts of money and they, they resell it so that they can make a profit. So you enter and can do what exactly what they're doing, purchase from them and sell it. Instead of selling it for cents, you sell it for dollars, if you know what I mean. So invest some of that money into a side hustle so that the money that you would have gotten will work while you're sleeping and make you an extra income so that is um i think we're at the fourth thing that i would have mentioned that you can do with this money last but not least i would say take some of that money and bless the less fortunate you don't have to use a lot a little goes a long way for homeless people or people who are in a less fortunate situation than yourself prepare a pot of food and share it to people on the streets or make a small contribution to the homeless shelter whether it be for old people or the boys orphanage or the girls orphanage or the hospital you know buy something and give to the less fortunate and i would say if you have done all of that with that little bit of money and then there is still some left back you can take that little money and like my old school colleague would have said you need to save that little bit if you are not in a position to save all of it those were my tips to you know spend the money i don't know how much sense that would have made to a lot of you but i believe that you can position yourself with that money for 2025 position yourself in a better way so whatever you choose to do with your money guys make sure at the end of spending it, you're happy with what you have done. So, yep, that was my little two cents on what I think you can do with the money. So I do hope that you enjoy this little bit of video. I have been away from the camera for so long. I'm so shy and, you know, I feel as though I look crazy, but I wanted to say that. I hope to see your comments in the comment section. Let's argue about this. What do you think about my opinions? All right, guys, see you. Bye.